Hi Aries, this is Shah and welcome back to the channel and if you're new welcome to the channel and if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with me a or a video reading or live and record it then have a look underneath the information underneath uh, this video in the description box um, or click on the little white dot just up in the screen and it will take you to the website and there you can find more information reviews interviews and also my life coach and of course um, the services that are on offer I'm uh, this week I'm only doing three Oracle decks um, from um, call it Baron Reed and uh, they're all by her and they're amazing <laughs> And this one is the Spirit Animal Oracle. Then I've got the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, and the uh, new, the newest deck that I have, the Crystal Spirits. And you can see the review on that in the playlist. So we're going to start Aries with the Groundhog Spirit, and you've got number thirty-one. So one and three is four, and that means stability, proper foundations. It's time to let go. Let go of the old. And you might be, ooh, you've got the heart. So let go of old sores of the heart. So you can let new love come in. Wow. And I love the pictures of the groundhog. He just reminds me of a little guinea pig munching away on the heart. <laughs> okay time to let go. Endings l lead to beginnings and death is a part of life so Groundhog Spirit is here to let you know that it is time to accept the natural ending of something that is no longer serving you. We love to hold on to what is familiar. I'll just, I usually put it in the other readings like this so you can focus on the groundhog. <sighs> we love to hold on to what is familiar, but the new needs space to arrive, so growth can occur. When groundhog spirit appears, it is a sign there is something um, in your present situation that you need to let go of, so that something new can be born, something that will far better serve you now. When the groundhog sees his shadow, he retreats to his den. So too might you yearn for a little more time to say goodbye and transition into the new. However, change is coming and it is good, so let go of your resistance. Spring brings many blessings and what must die will always be reborn in a new form that will be right for you. Life requires change and detachment. Stay farewell. Say farewell to whatever once served you and get ready for something amazing to take its place. Spirit is already sending it your way. Now your protection message of the groundhog is Have you been relentless in your efforts to revive something that has passed? It's prime and needs to die away. A situation, a relationship, a belief or a habit that served you once but no longer fulfills you with vitality. Perhaps you automatically expect to see the world through a specific lens based on a familiar. Groundhog Spirit has appeared to let you know it's time to accept that the past is the past so allow yourself to feel the loss and grieve it if you need to. Any sadness will not last forever or overwhelm you. Knowing spirit is what you and want you to experience. Joy and excitement again will help you through this transition from the old to the new. K 
keep your eyes open for winter always gives you gives way to spring and endings always give birth to beginnings for now let yourself feel your emotions releasing them to make way for the joy that awaits you spring a new growth are on their way for that is spirit's promise to you wow so now we're going on to the next card so it is time to spring clean so you can let in the new awesome you have the shadow queen and that is number 16 so luck is on your side because that becomes a number seven acquiring knowledge insecurity and manipulation where you want to stay away of manipulation perhaps you have to let go of manipulation and stand on your own two feet and feel secure and know you should feel secure within yourself look at that light the universe is with you remember that it's a beautiful card It's like the hermits so yes if you do feel sad about something and you want to mourn it mourn it go into yourself take time out for yourself the ally and you've got the challenger so if you take it as a friend then this is what you can do okay the shadow queen tells you that too many of the details hidden behind your circumstances prevent you from moving forward quickly at this time so in other words mourn take time out work it through there might be things hidden for you but you might not see them uh, that could be it as well you might not be able to see what you should let go of so that's why you need to take time out to see and be honest with yourself and to see what needs to be let loose to go okay she has come with a lan lantern to help shed light on what is concealed within you and your situation this is the time to wait for more to be revealed perhaps you lack clarity and knowledge and how to proceed with the subject of your inquiry or your question or your situation okay that could be the subject as well it's time to educate yourself a little more about your intention and then put the information to work for you the shadow queen asks that you dig deep to gain strength you have to go within most probably because I think it looks more like the hermit card okay the shadow queen asks that you dig deep to gain strength and that you have the courage to ask someone in the know to shed light on your circumstances so don't shy away from asking for help she promises to send that person to you beware of moving too quickly in the dark as you will likely trip and fall and have to start again so it's like the moon it's like the Sun they're all illuminating the spotlights and they illuminate so you, there are things that are hidden but be aware of your intuitiveness okay listen to your gut feeling now if this card is a challenging card for you or something that's against you that's challenging you then this is what you can expect or this is the advice the show shadow queen gently asks you to address your innermost character flaws with compassion and now it's time to bring your wounded self and hidden agendas into the light you are setting the tangible results sorry you're seeing the tangible results of those aspects of your nature 
that have evolved uh, in response to the difficulties in your life. You've been a means to help you survive. Perhaps you are falling prey to insecurity masked as elitism and arrogance, believing that you know best to comparing yourself with others or to being fearful of self-sabotage. Ooh, don't sabotage yourself. Oof. Let go. You may have been taught that manipulating others rather than being direct is the way to get your needs met. met. The Shadow Queen reminds you that manipulation in any form isn't the best method of getting what you want. An other meaning that can also apply is the possibility that you are being affected by someone else's wounded self. Perhaps you are the one being manipulated. Whatever the case, it's time to take a fearless personal inventory and observe what part you play in the dramas and potential disasters in your life. When you come to the place of humi humility, forgiveness and grace, then you may proceed again and walk into the light. There is great value and strength in facing your own shadow in the realm of the Shadow Queen. Like I said, go within. You have to dig deeper. What are your uh, qualities? What What is your strength? What are your weaknesses? And deal with them so that you can let go. Okay? It's time to let go. Now the last card that you have is 46, the Raw Morganite. The Raw Morganite. It's a sort of pinky, peachy stone. And 4 and 6 is 10, so something is coming to an end. And you can see a face in there, it just looks like an angel or a Buddha. It's the spirit of the stone. That is so beautiful. Sensitivity, gentleness, empathy, compassion, the gift of vulnerability, like I said, your weaknesses, self-forgiveness. No matter how hard the rock no matter how hard the rock, over time water can alter it and that shapes it making a path where there is none before. The appearance of this crystal is a sign that it is a time for you to embrace your sensitivity and gentleness. There is no need to be forceful when you can simply be open to what you are entitled to receive. Allow yourself to be vulnerable as the, this crystal just appears in raw, unpolished form, finding strength in knowing that you do not have to engage in battles, so stay away from other people's drama. You've got enough of your own. Okay. To have to engage in battles to serve no one, you are able to handle whatever dramas are in front of you right now. You exquisite, your exquisite sensitivity will serve you well. That's your intuitiveness. That's what I also said. For it's always you to see things as they are. It allows you to see the things as they are. The conscious universe will be gentle with you and raw Morganite spirit is here to let you know that you are not alone and you have a solid foundation like I said number four beneath you. So express your gifts of empathy, compassion. You are stronger than you know. 
and there is an ending like I said and a new beginning because a 10 becomes a new beginning now if your issue or question has to do with relationship then this is the advice for the relationship gentle assertiveness is the way now for message for the message of raw Morganite spirit is to conserve your resources and avoid giving in to the drama or of battles. People who are wounded may not appreciate you now, so set healthy boundaries for your compassion and kindness. Extend to yourself. Express the strength of vulnerability by being honest without oversharing by letting others see that you are on a healing path so that they may be inspired too easy now let abundance flow knowing what when you are sensitive you can pick up on the signs that our situation needs to be rightened like I said the hermit can feel it. You can draw on your intuitive, empathic nature, so gently go with the flow, observing your opportunities to build wealth and seeing where you must cut your losses. Stifling your compassion and empathy is not the way. By connecting with the conscious universe, you will be strong as you engage in the work of building the prosperous life you deserve. This is the this that was the uh, prosperity message, and I'll repeat that very quickly. Easy now, let abundance flow. So go with the flow, knowing that when you are sensitive, you can pick up on the signs that a situation needs to be rightened so let go you can draw on your intuitive empathic nature so gently go with the flow observing your opportunities to build wealth and seeing where you must cut your losses stifling your compassion and empathy is not the way by connecting with the conscious universe you will be strong as you engage in the work of building the prosperous life you deserve and this is the meditation you can do you can take the um, raw morganite and hold it and wear it put it in your purse put it in your bra put it in your pocket but you can also sit still and hold it to your heart or your solar plex Morganite is a gentle-hearted cleansing stone that is valuable when we wish to release old patterns, wounds and blockages that are obstacles to loving relationships with others. Meditation with this stone allows connection to divine love which eases fear of vulnerability and allows us to open to receiving love from others and from spirit wow so let go use the raw magonite and hold it and so it will clear your heart chakra and you've got a green card here as well you've got some green here so now is healing okay so let go don't go into the shadows go into yourself meditate contemplate and evaluate let go of what is of no use to you anymore so that the new can come in because you've got a 10 so that's an ending let it go let the new beginning come in you've got luck on your side with proper foundations I hope you've enjoyed this reading Aries and I hope you are well and stay well and happy and keep your picker up okay <laughs> I love you all so um, please share this video with family and friends take care and see you in the life and if not I'll see you in the next video